Hey guys, I'm Jay Dupree and today I am showing you how to make extreme cut shots. Now, by extreme cut shot, I mean hitting a ball on its very edge to send it to a pocket. It's like hitting this on its very, very edge to send it into that corner pocket right here. And I'm going to show you a secret that I learned from a guy named Tor Lowry. I uh, watched one of his videos on this topic and I'm just going to elaborate just a little further. So when you cut a ball, like to make it, if you hit this line exactly right here, exactly where you need to, the cue ball puts a spin on the object ball that sends it into this rail. So I'm hitting exactly where I need to. And you see how it gets sent into that rail? The cue ball puts a little bit of spin on that object ball, which just spins it right into that rail every time. So you cannot make this shot hitting it to the point of making it in the pocket. So what I'm going to teach you, or just advance the knowledge to you, is aiming to miss it. So now instead of aiming for like that, we're going to aim for that. And that should, that spin's going to carry it forward, but there's no rail for it to hit right there. There's only this pocket. So aiming to miss sends it right into the pocket. You, this works with every kind of spin. Uh, spin is just going to spin the ball into the rail. So you have to learn to aim to miss the pocket. And this works with all kinds of cut shots and I'm going to demonstrate those to you now. Okay guys, so now we're going to talk about back cuts. And what a back cut is, is just when you cut a ball to where it goes backwards. And this we have a pretty tough back cut without spin. You see how it goes into that first rail? It's pretty much always going to do that when you don't use any spin. So now we are going to alter the ball's path using left spin in this case. So I don't really know how I could possibly teach you what spin to use on each shot. It's kind of something you need to pick up on. But the best way I can explain it to you is like the side of the tip that goes through like the side of the one. So left spin on the cue ball goes through the right side of the one. If we were cutting it that way, right spin on the cue ball would go through the left side of the one. So that's the best I can explain to you. You just kind of need to pick up on it and just kind of decide what spin you need to use. So left spin should just spin the ball right into this pocket. You're going to have to hit pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to try to get you a few angles on this shot. Okay, so now I'm going to elaborate on something people call the impossible cut shot. So I'm going to do a couple of different versions of it. And the first version is we're just straight with the one and the cue ball. Let's say this one ball is at the half point between the first or second or second and third, whatever you want to call those two. And the one and the one ball and the cue ball are in a straight line with each other, with the cue ball at about like the third diamond line. So this is where our spin will come into play. With no spin, this ball is pretty unmakeable. Uh, but with that spin technique I showed you, like the right right spin in this case, it's like a tip will go through the left side of the one ball, just like the opposite side, opposite spin. That's the best I can really explain it to you. I wish. I could think of a different way, but that's that's the way I chose to think of. So right spin on this case would send the ball, send the cue ball rail first. So it's going to hit this rail first, then as it comes out of the rail, it's just going to clip the one on its side. But when I say rail first, it's not going to hit the rail like clearly first. You're not going to be able to see it without a super slow motion camera. I don't even think like a regular slow motion camera can get it. You'd have to just get a really, really, really slow motion camera. Uh, because it's going to hit this rail and immediately cut the one into the corner. So within milliseconds. So that right spin, we're going to aim 
for like a half ball hit on this one ball because right spin will squirt the ball out to the uh, left. And just to demonstrate that, I'm gonna miss cue here. You see how I'm hitting on the right. You see how it goes off to the left while I'm hitting in a straight line. So that's what's gonna happen with this shot. So we're gonna hit a little fuller on the one and we want our cue ball to hit about right next to it, as close to that one as we can get. And here it is. Okay, for this shot, we're gonna have the one at the second diamond, and we're gonna take our cue ball and still have it at this half diamond line. So now, you'd think we'd be shooting for that pocket, but now let's imagine that that pocket is blocked by this ball. So we're going to back cut it, rail first, still into that corner. So I'm gonna hit the cue ball still with that right spin, left spin if you're shooting it this direction, or if, you were, if the cue ball is on this side and you're trying to make in that pocket left spin there, just you have to figure out what kind of spin you need so right spin, rail first, clip the one into this pocket. It's a back cut. We're actually hitting, it's a more than 90 degree cut shot, uh, which sounds impossible, but here I am doing it. And it's not as hard as it sounds, but it is a tough shot. And here it is. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my favorite cut shot. And this is the down table cut shot. I don't know what to call it. Just call it that because it goes down table. So let's imagine we're in this situation. We could bank it, but the percentage of a double kiss is high, like 90%. The cue ball is going to hit the two ball twice. So we are going to cut this ball all the way down the table. So we're going to use our trick that we just learned, the aim to miss. So we, if we hit it regularly, then this ball is going into this rail. Always, 100%, never not going to go into that rail. So if we aim to miss and aim to hit about here, then this ball, the spin from the cue ball, will transfer it into this pocket. Uh, the amount of follow on this ball, top spin, is that spins it into this rail, is determined, like, it lengthens with the length of the table. Like, the further distance it goes, the more it's going into that rail, just to dumb it down. So, we could actually aim for about right here and still make it. But, yes, this is my absolute favorite cut shot. I don't know why, it's just a beautiful shot. Uh, and here it is from a couple different angles. Okay, for this cut shot, we are going to use our spin technique again. So, this is another one of my favorite cut shots where we have the cue ball and the object ball like this and we cannot cut it into these, the corner over here because we will scratch automatically no matter what spin we use. And just if you don't believe me, I will demonstrate it real quick. Cutting, bam, scratch. So, you saw how we just scratch automatically. You can use whatever spin you want. You're still gonna scratch if you try to cut it down there. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut this six ball into the side pocket. Now this is the same as our back cut, but now we're back cutting into the side pocket. We're gonna use left spin in this case, because if our tip extends to the left of the cue ball, it goes to the right of the six ball, which is the direction we need to hit with the cue ball. So the left spin. So left spin, 
will send it into this pocket pretty easily. Uh, we're gonna have to hit pretty hard, medium hard pace. Uh, should it be too hard, just that simple cut, um, great shot. You need to practice that. I practice that one a lot because it comes up and I almost nearly missed it. I cut it a little too much, but we still made it, which is good. Uh, but that was the side pocket back cut. Okay guys, just for fun, we're gonna do one last cut shot and this is probably one of the heaviest cuts in this video. So this eight ball is about two centimeters off this long rail. That looks about right. Yeah, not an inch, a little less than an inch. Uh, inch is 2.54, so let's go with two centimeters. And we are combining both skills in this that we've learned. So the aim to miss with the spin. So we are putting our right spin with our aim to miss. So we are actually aiming to back cut this. That's where the spin comes in. We're aiming to back cut it, but that spin is still going to spin it into this rail if we don't use spin and back cut. So we're aiming for about here, but the spin in the back cut should send the eight ball into this corner pocket. Just remember right spin and aim to miss. If you aim to miss, you will most likely make the ball. And here is the cut from a couple different angles. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post again, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. I just want to thank you guys for 4,200 subscribers. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, we've gained almost 4,000 subscribers this month, which is absolutely insane. Great month. Thank you guys so much. And let's try to continue this into September. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped you become a better pool player.